All right. Welcome to the double feature, Advent of Code. We're doing day 10 and day 11 today because there was no stream yesterday. Um, we're doing it in Haskell and we're trying to show that, uh, you know, we can do whatever the Rust people can. No, just kidding. They're cool. But uh, who cares about borrowing, am I right? Anyway, let's get started on uh, today's problem. I've already prepared the editor, but that's it. Let's see. All right. Hey, Sobachi, Sobo CJ, Sobach. I, you still haven't given me a pronunciation right, so. But uh, always nice to see when people come back. Because, you know, I uh, that's what I, because it's not just me solving these things, right? It's, um, it's us. We're, um. Uh, we're all trying to figure out how to do it, right? And then if I get stuck, you're like, oh, money. Have you tried doing this? It's kind of fun. All right. So like last time, we, we were navigating these lava tubes, right? And we ended up... Um, how did we end up... Uh, what we ended up doing was... Uh, right, we had like these, uh, we just created a neighbor's list and then we found the low points and then we just kind of worked from there. Worked great. Um, and we found like, uh, what areas to avoid in the Christmas tunnels, right? But now we have to do something else. Okay. So we asked the submarine to determine the best route out of the deep sea cave, but only by syntax error. In navigation system online, all of them. All right. All of them. Those were really thought to bring up a copy of the navigation subsystem. The navigation subsystem is made of several lines containing chunks. All right. I think this is going to be a parsing problem, right? Which is, that's what we do best in Haskell, right? All right. There are one or more chunks on each line and chunks contain zero or more other chunks. Addition chunks are not separated. One pila. What are you seeing? Let's see. All right. Every chunk. Oh no. Chunks. Adjacent chunks are not separated by. If one chunk stops, the next chunk, if any, can immediately start. Okay. Every chunk must open and close with one of the four legal pairs of matching characters. Okay. So we have parenthesis, a square parenthesis. Curly brackets, the square brackets, curly brackets, and arrow brackets. That's what we're going to use. So parenthesis as a square brackets. More complex value chunks. Um, okay. Some lines are incomplete, but others are corrupted. Find and discard the corrupted lines first. A corrupted line is one where a character closes with the wrong character. That is where the character where the characters it opens and closes with do not form one of the legal pairs. Okay. Okay. Um, one battery. What are you talking about battery? What do you mean by battery, Sobo? I missed the... I missed the context. Um, let's see. Okay, so we have to parse chunks. Okay, these are expected, but found. Okay. Oh, no. So it's not enough to to calculate, but it's... Um, we have to actually find which one it was. Okay. 
and uh, let's go. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I guess we like we're not gonna. We, so I think like if we wrote like a read parser, um, uh, it would be too much. But uh, but like yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just do like a stack thing, stack based parsing. Okay, let's just put this into the example now. Okay, so uh, we have the uh, uh, so m matches char to char. Okay, matches. Uh, this one should have a matching. Uh, this one, right? Matches. Uh, this one. Yeah, should be equal to this one. Matches a uh, curly bracket should be equal to curly brackets. Oh no. And matches a uh, pila arrow bracket should be equal to arrow bracket. Alright. Now we read the example file. Read input. Going to do the classic file path to let's just give it a list of strings first right read input equals map or just lines over read file yeah, and it should be io and now it's complaining oh yeah because i didn't f map okay now let's go read input example print let's just see what it does i'm gonna go back to the right directory ghc 03 day 10 dot hs and day 10. we time it like we always do all right we got the lines so we are gonna say Okay, so we say a uh, check line can take a list of the list of cards, right? And it's gonna say uh, maybe char. So this is the first wrong char. Okay, so check line uh, uh, ln equals. Uh, we're just gonna say check line cur. Uh, so we empty list and ln. So, uh, now so check line prime right where check line. Okay, so if we we if we have this case right, so we have a uh, we have we have an empty here. Uh, let's actually make this maybe char. Okay. So we have like a, okay. So we don't actually have to, oh, nice. Hi Saints, plays things. And your rating party, welcome to our channel. Okay, so just, okay, so we can we can ignore incomplete lines for now. So that doesn't matter. Uh, let's see, so we say here, so we don't care if it's empty, it's just uh, false. Okay, so we had check line, and uh, hey, KDT8, KD, let me, I need to zoom in a bit more. Haskell hop. Yeah, nice. Oh, we got a lot of uh, new people. Uh, I hope you are ready for some Haskell action. Okay, and. So, okay, so we have, um, okay, let's, uh, how do we do this? Oh, we're defining check line prime here, actually. It's going to be nothing. Okay, so if we are, um, 
if we have um let's see here uh, stack and then we have c c's okay case uh matches so if, if we're opening uh so we say just a uh, n is going to be matches c so if we, we're getting a new one oh you haven't gone past day four i mean they get a bit harder right as you go on okay so we we just run matches um and if we get a match which is to say that we get a just here so this is kind of the the one we're matched. So if we get a match, then we just add it to the stack, right? Check line prime a n stack s and then cs. Okay, if we don't get a matches, if it's not, if it's if it's so right. So if it's not opening a new one. Then we say, uh, then we then we have to say, okay. Then we say, okay. If if the stack has something on it, uh, stack and then rest of stack is the stack, and uh, uh, and uh, can we match patterns like this? Comma. Um, yeah, okay, we do S equals equals C. So, because we already kind of checked the match, then then we just continue. Then we then we pop it off the stack. Check line prime. Uh, and then it's a new stack and the rest. Otherwise, we have found the first one that fails. I think so. Um, let's say uh, let's print let's a uh, print a uh, task one right uh, so it takes in a um so we do actually map m print dot task one let's see what is this haskell hop I can't, uh, okay, non-acceptive function. Yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, this is exactly nothing. So we get uh, nothing and nothing. So so these are just incomplete. Um, otherwise we get a just. Um, so this one is closed with the first wrong one, right? Okay. The remaining five lines are corrupted. So I guess this one is the third line. Yeah. Expected this one, but found this one instead. So I'll stop at the first incorrect closing character on each of the corrupted lines. Okay, so, so and then we, we, we define the score. Okay, so we have the chars. Um, okay, so let's write a score chart again. Score. Yeah, it takes a char and returns an int. Okay, score. Uh, so we have uh, this one. It gives us a. Uh, this may be int. So this one gives us just three. Okay, uh, score. This one gives us just. 57 score a uh, this one gives us just 1197 okay 1197 and score this one gives us just 25137 and score of whatever gives us nothing Okay, uh, so instead of saying just C here, I am going to say uh, score C. And this is going to return uh, maybe int. 
And then we get 11973572537. Okay. Uh, so we are going to say uh, map may be task one. And then uh, print punctor sum dot map maybe we have to import that from uh, we're importing it from data dot maybe exactly now let's see what the first sum is two six three nine seven yes so we get it for the first one now let's get the input oh, no not a new folder new file input and get it well wow. all right let's check how long it takes for the input i think it should be pretty fast three one eight zero zero nine in five milliseconds how long is it we got the first one whoop whoop it's all working out. Okay, 18 minutes for the first one. So we're doing a double feature, but I'm hoping it won't be longer than two hours because I want to order pizza. All right. Day 10. Now let's go to part two. I mean, part one is, if part one is easy, it usually means we did it in a weird way. That means that part two is not good. Okay. Now discard the corrupted lines. The remaining lines are incomplete. Oh, you're only... <laughs> do, 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 do. Incomplete lines don't have any incorrect characters. Instead, they're missing some closing characters at the end. To repair the navigation option, you just need to figure out the sequence of closing characters to, that complete all open chunks in the line. Oh, I mean, this is exactly our stack, right? I think this is just our stack. So here we... So here we return just stack. Here we return uh nothing maybe string so is it gonna be a list of characters okay so ooh, doo, 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 doo. now we map maybe and let's see let's not print the sum we are not we haven't scored it yet but let's just map maybe for the oh no not for the input we're not doing it for the example Okay, so we get, we get the right one for, for the example, right? That's good. Did you know it's true? Okay, so we found, we found the five incomplete lines. Start with total score five. Then for each character, multiply the total score by five, and then increase the total score by the point value given for the character in the following table. Okay, so we're just uh, now we have to write another function to score it. Just call this score one. Score one. All right, and now we write a score two is going to take in a string and return an int. Score two of empty equals, uh, so we actually have to do equals score two prime of zero. We start off with this, where score two prime cur and uh, empty equals cur. Score two prime cur a uh, c a. Uh, now let's see. sc. This is gonna be our score char. D 
ding, 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 ding. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, equals one S E F equals two S E F. So we should technically check whether we're getting or like have an exception. Yeah, let's just have an exception. S C equals four S C underscore equals exception. Oh, it's error. Invalid character. Okay, uh, so we have a C C S. Ding 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 ding. Okay, so we start with a score of zero. Then for each character, multiply the total score by five and then increase the total score by the point value. Okay. This is gonna be sc score two cur times five plus yeah, let's just make sure plus a S C F C C S score two prime. Okay, uh, ding, 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 ding. Uh, map score two. So two, eight, eight, nine, five, seven, five, five, six, six, one, four, eight, zero, seven, eight. Well, wow. okay, we get the right scores. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're getting like a lot of extra things here. Okay, out of lead and then a score, not one. The winner is found by sorting all of the scores and taking the middle score. Why? <laughs> like, why are we, why are we doing all this? Um, task two. So let's just do here a. There's going to be a list of scores. Um, task two. Okay, so we get a uh, task two P. Let's call this task two parse. Okay, and then a uh, task two is going to take us uh, a list of strings and return us uh, an int. And then as okay, so we do uh, where um, stirs is equal to map maybe task two p lns. Uh, uh, oh, let's say scores is equal to map score two dot map maybe, uh, and then we do uh, sort scores do 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 we have to import data dot list for that a map so map maybe so we have what what are you complaining about uh let's do head here this is not gonna be correct but yeah okay scores is a list of ints now a uh, map maybe couldn't Point. Okay, let's see. Uh, completes equals a uh, map maybe completes strings. Okay, a uh, scores equals map score two over completes. And then we sort the scores. Um, and then we like look up the length scores two, right? That's like the middle of a sorted list. Print dot task two. Two eight eight nine five seven. Okay, what is the middle score? 
Let's go. Boom. Three milliseconds. All right. We got day two in 28 minutes. Nice. That was not bad. Good thing this is a double feature. Otherwise, it would have been quite short today. Let's see what we did. And like, yeah. I mean, all we did was like, we maintained this stack. I don't know. Yeah, that was exactly. Like the bot chasing. There's no complexity here. We just did the thing. Right? And... Uh, I don't know. I think I think they knew that this was a easy thing. That's why they made the scoring so weird. Just to make it a bit longer. I don't know. All right, let's add it. D10 dot uh, Example input. Okay. G commit m add D10. Okay. Uh, now. Let's, I mean, we could go over, uh, how I did it, but like, yeah, like, yeah, there's nothing, there's no, there's nothing crazy going on here. It's just kind of, it's like, you know, either we, we're have we have a new match, right? Um, and then we get the, kind of the one that closes it and then we just add that, right? Or... So, or we have something on the stack and the one thing on the X stack is the one we expect. Then we just drop it and continue. Otherwise, we have a corrupted line, right? So that's for task one, right? Otherwise, we don't have that. Uh, there's a wrong one that's that we were expecting and then it's just done, okay? For the second one, we did it the opposite way, right? So instead of keeping the score, for the corrupted ones, we keep the stack. So, because we, we know which ones we're expecting. So, I think, I think this was, uh, I think, yeah, I think this is harder in other languages. Uh, I think it's because, like, it's so easy for us. So, like, it's probably not harder, uh, but I think because we, kind of naturally are drawn towards just keeping the list around in Haskell. Uh, the way we solve task one kind of made it very easy for us to solve task two because it's kind of the natural way to solve task one kind of gives you the way to solve task two right away. Um, kind of very easily. So, so I, I'm not going to say it's more difficult, but I'm going to say that a, like the the way you would do it without knowing what task two is might lead you to do something that's harder to do. But uh, it's harder to say more difficult. I don't know. I haven't done it in other languages. And I, I can't, right? Because now I know how it should to work. So I, I, it's hard to maybe need to... I can't do it again, right? To check it. But, okay. That was task uh, one. And uh, as I usually do, uh, no, I'm not going to take a breather. I think we'll just start off with day 10, day 11, right away. Touch day 11 dot ages. But like... Uh, so Haskell more natural than C. Yes, I think so. Because in C, we would have to like maintain uh, like an array, right? And we'd have to dynamically grow this array. And also like the... So this the nice thing here is that it's like a, it's like I mean so we're in C we would have to basically implement a linked list to do this, um, but we don't have to here. I think yeah, but like uh, I mean we're also lucky here in that you know even I mean we we take three milliseconds to do this we we could probably do it way faster in like Rust or C uh, because there's less things to worry about. But, uh, yeah. Module day 
now main uh main where so we call it main because we want to be able to run it from the command line put stir ln day 11 okay uh, let's go for day 11 Ding, 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 ding. It's a shame that like uh, these are graded based on uh, uh, they are graded based on uh, like time from release. It would be nice if we can see how we how fast we were compared to everyone. Give me one second. Oh, give me uh, give me one second. I'm just gonna answer this message. I'll be right back. Okay, that was it. Okay, so, dumb octopus. Day 11. You enter a large cabin full of rare, bioluminescent dumb octopuses. They seem to not like the Christmas lights on your submarine, so you turn them off for now. Oh, we had uh, Christmas lights so far. That was nice. Let's actually also look. It's like, there's a, there's a nice graphic. I think we're su this is supposed to be the sea or something. I'm not quite sure. Because we're in a submarine. We're trying to save the keys. Because the elves lost the keys or something. All right. See, the last one was super easy in high school, but now we have a ten by ten grid. So we're gonna do something with array indexes, which is a lot more annoying in Haskell than in most other languages. Wow, and we're simulating something. Oof. All right, strap in. This is going to take a while. Okay, let's just copy and paste this into example. Example day 11 right away. Okay, so you enter a large cavern. So each octopus slowly gains energy over time and flashes brightly for a moment when his energy is full. Although your lights are off, maybe you could navigate through the cave without disturbing octopus if you could predict when the flashes of light level. Each octopus has an energy level. Your submarine can remotely measure the energy level of each octopus. Okay. The energy levels vary between 0 and 9. Here, the top level of octopus is blah, blah, blah. Okay. You can model the energy levels and flashing lights in steps. First, the energy level of each octopus each increases by 1. Then... Any octopus with an energy level greater than nine flashes. It's increased the energy level of all adjacent octopuses. See? Uh, yo. Okay. Including octopuses that are diagonally adjacent to it. If this ca causes an octopus to have an energy level greater than nine, it also flashes. This process continues as long as new octopuses keep having their energy level increased beyond nine. Octopus can only flash at most once per step. Finally, any octopus that flashed during this step will have that energy cell set to zero as it used all of its energy to flash. Okay, so adjacent flashes can cause... Okay, so we have nine, and then all of these flash... An octopus is high level and flashes during a given step. Okay. After step 10, okay, so we have a lot of these. After 100 steps, given the starting and energy level of the dumb octopus in your cavern, simulate 100 steps. How many total flashes are there after 100 steps? Ooh, okay, let's just look at the output. Oh, it's not that bad. It's going to be the same as the example, kind of. Okay. All right, now we're going to get into some state-based test. Let's think about it first. Like, can we can we get a way? Can we like figure out if there's a loop? There might be like a loop, right? So if we see the same state, then we know how many flashes there will be. Okay, data dot uh, state r. r, r. Uh, let's go. 
update lazy yeah uh, uh haskell arrays uh, what are they called state ref array something like that uh yeah So we have like gtc.r and then we have like frozen array. Oh my god. I don't never want this on hackage actually. Okay, um SD array is a mutable boxed non-strict um let's see acum array. Doom, 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 doom. So each step, we just have to figure out whether one will flash or not. Copy this into input. Oh my god, it's gonna be such a mess. God damn it. Okay. Uh... Let's at least start by reading the array, right? Uh, read input file path. So, so it's read input map uh, read at int read c uh, at int. Isn't that like a read digit? Let's do char to int dig it to int yeah okay import data dot char digit to int a uh, map okay so we f map map dig it to int dot lines over read file Okay, um, so we get the uh, okay, we have to do map 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 map. Okay, let's just print out a uh, read input a uh, example day 11 into print. We start by reading the input that's always solid. Okay, we got the input. Now, um, st array. So there are like, uh, there are like, I think there are, there are like more uh, st unboxed array. I think it's like u array, u array. STU array, is that the thing? STU array. Yes. So this is the. Uh... So a mutable array with unboxed elements that can be. Yeah. Okay. Um, how do we create an STU array? <laughs> okay, so let's say uh, let's say simulate. Um, it's gonna be an STU array S. Now let's say this is gonna be an ST, and it's gonna return 
a U array. Uh, and with the I is the the index type of the array is uh, int eight and the uh, element type of NSGP int eight simulate equals run st u array a dollar two so i i will take in the ints Imp. Now uh, we create. How do we create an array? Um, we say to construct an array from a pair of bounds and a list of um. How do we do like two dimensional arrays? Uh, I think we don't, we can't do it. So how about we have it as a, uh, no, okay. We can also have it as a map, right? Um, just a map of indexes. Yeah, okay, let's do that. I think it's easier. Uh, wait, oh my God. let me see. So. So we have the, uh, right, uh, 0 to 10. Maybe I can do it like a... Maybe I can do it with a... Uh, do, okay, what if I just say... Uh, so this is not going to be a U array, right? It's going to be an array of U arrays. And so it's going to all going to be, it's all going to be a mess. Let's, let's use data data maps. Uh, module data. Uh, so import data dot map as map import qualified data dot map of map. So let's ignore this now. Uh, so let's first, yeah, let's first create it. Oh, I forgot. Import data dot jar to get to int. So uh, int to map. So you take a list, list of ints and we return a map of our indexes uh, to ints. And imp to map, imp to map is going to be um, so we uh, we sip with so we can sip uh, so we we map sip zero over uh, we sip zero over mapping zip zero imp imp uh, indexed uh, and then no okay so we we actually we say zip with Okay, so we have the uh, the elements, and this is going to be, and then we have the second one, and then sip with it takes in a function, so it's like the uh, the uh, y, and it takes in the uh, the array r, and it goes a uh, map. Uh, over the array, and now this one is going to be the x comma v, and it returns a the tuple 
x comma y comma v right indexed uh, map dot from list indexed and then this is be in in and it doesn't like this because it could match type with a expected type list of int 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 Oh, right. I have to... Uh... Okay, first of all, let's just... Let's go it, go through it. Okay, uh, index map, zip, 0 to input. Uh, X index. So, what is the type of X index? Um, The type of uh, x index is a uh, int comma int. Okay, then we say map y indexed. So y indexed should be a list of list of int comma int comma int. Now we actually want to yeah, and then we say map from list concat indexed so we want indexed to be a list of list of int comma so concat y indexed okay this is type checks okay uh, so so sip with takes sip with um, x indexed right and then this is should be f where f and f has the type a uh, int list of int comma int and it should return a list of int comma int comma int comma int this is the type we're going for f equals undefined undefined okay now f takes in the y and it should take in the r and it maps over the r so it takes in the e and the x comma v and returns x comma y comma v over r so now we should have a map of like zero one zero zero oh print imp to map all right now we have it we have it indexed um yeah okay good doom 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 but what if we flip it right because we're we're not really interested in uh we don't really care about their we just care about their neighbors right um and then we want to kind of see which ones are nine and then we hit them those neighbors okay so we have a these so uh so here for the purpose of this challenge a uh, everything like a five so this is uh, the five is four the seven and the two is a neighbor here so we say that the uh Let's see. Let's just write task one. Okay. Okay. We say that the nays of an int comma int 
is a list of int comma int. The neighbors of x comma y um, filter in range of uh, x plus one y comma uh, x minus one comma y comma a um now we let's not do it like this we just do x plus i comma y plus j where it's y zero to uh So it's minus one comma zero comma one. And J is also from minus one comma zero comma one. Where in range X comma Y is a X larger than zero and Y larger than zero and x less than what is the limit it's 10 right it's yeah so it's a 10 but 10 by 10 grid so x less than 10 and y less than 10 okay so now if i say a uh, let's just do it like a ggi day 11.hs oh no oh what's going on here uh And now task with one doesn't exist anymore. Oh no. So nays of zero comma zero. Ooh, just one zero comma one. Uh, why is it doing like that? Okay, what if I remove this uh, in range? This, what, what does this list give us? Minus one, one, minus one, minus one, zero, one, one, one. Zero, 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 one. Um, uh, zero, zero. These are the six neighbors, right? Yeah, so you should have a All right. Good point. Larger than equal to 0. That was our problem. Okay, let's check. Yeah. Okay, these are the neighbors indeed. Let's check. Um, thanks, Oscar. That's why it's nice to have chat, right? We're like, we're not getting stuck for half an hour on like something that simple. Uh, okay. So now we know the neighbors. Okay. Um, right. So what I was saying before is that we don't really care um yeah we don't really care about um we're usually like we're always checking we're not checking the indexes right we're checking the values so i'm wondering if we can like uh, change that somehow so if I have it like this, it's going to be like that. Okay. Can I like collect into a bucket? Uh, ask Google. Um, what if I have a, a list of A comma B and I 
I have a I have a list of A comma B. Okay, and I want a map of A and then list of B. This does not exist. Okay. Uh, so I want to you you get what I mean, right? I want um, yeah, that's true. Okay, x zero and x let's see your x uh, let's call this uh, a <laughs> now we can do something weird actually a comma b at so now we're giving this the value right all oh, right okay we can't do that we, we just have to say uh, c and uh, And then we can do this a comma b equals c and then we can say x not equal to a and y not equal to a oh no we can't do this actually we have to say x not equal like this a and y not equal to b then we should get the just the neighbors oh no uh Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. And, uh... Huh. So we don't, we don't want these both. Okay. Let's just say filter. Not equal to C. Um, why doesn't that work? What is it complaining about? Uh, incorrect brackets. All right. Yeah. Now I we will move that one exactly. Okay, um, yeah, so what I was thinking before, right, so, because, uh, uh, if we do read into example, day 11 into task 1. And then task one of in right so because we don't actually care so much about the pairs we care mostly about the the reverse so i'm wondering if there's like a way for us to flip a map a map in a nice way right Mm-hmm. <laughs> How can we you know, we want to kind of merge them, right? Uh... Okay, what are we gonna do is uh, so this is this is the uh, y index. So let's just uh, do here, not like this. Uh, we do concat. Okay, well, it's not actually. This is fine. Okay, um, we do a map uh, where f flip pair. Takes an int comma int comma int uh, int. 
or wait, okay, so I have the, let's just have this, okay, as the int, comma, int, uh, comma, int, like this. And that's, I saw this is y indexed. Okay, now, uh, we just do task one over this. Okay, um, but what if I do sort? Uh, import, import data, data dot list. What is it? It sorts, uh, sorts, right? Okay, so I think it sorts on the first one. Sort by a compare on S and D. Okay, we're just gonna say import data dot function on import a import data dot list sort by so we're gonna say a sort by compare on S and D. And then we're going to say a group by equals equals on S and D. And I need to, and this is going to be a list of lists. Now, what does this group by return? Um, oh, I undid too much. Or maybe this one didn't work. What's group by return? A uh, group by is applied to four arguments. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to dollar group by uh, expected type. Oh, yeah. Okay. It doesn't. Yeah. It returns a, a list of lists. Okay. So we do R and then we run task one or this. So these are the ones like that are one and then you have the ones that are eight and then nine, right? Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Um, bum, 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 ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Let's call this a step. We take in a, a list of uh, int comma int int, and we return the same. So step a equals int p a uh, cur. So this is going to be group by on sort by compare on second. Um, where C org. So the, the current one organized is going to be cur. Okay, now we say a map. Uh, so, uh, so C org. And then we say by, by num takes in a um, map by num so it's going to take in one of these grouped lists and it's going to say you know c comma v uh, is going to be map and so this is going to return a uh, v comma map uh, let's just say uh, no okay and then it's going to say c colon map snd RS Okay, and then we uh, we 
map so so by num and then we say a uh, by nums equals map by num c org okay um do, 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 do. so c org is a list of list of int int, int. okay uh Binum takes this. Okay, so binums. Why is it complaining? Could match type. Ooh, okay, yeah, but it's because. All right, this should be first. So this is a list of all the ones that have one, all the ones that have two, and so on. Hmm. All the ones that have one, all the ones that have two. Okay. Um. Let's actually just look at it, right? Um, let's say here map int int comma int uh, map dot from list by nums. Let's actually make these uh, sets. Because we don't care about uh, it's gonna be fine. We don't care about the actual order. Data dot set uh, set import qualified data dot set as set, and this is going to be a map of int to set of ints. Now let's uh, throw out this one, and then let's just. map int set of int comma int this is step of a uh, y indexed i think yeah we reload and then okay so we have the ones we have the twos and we have the okay yeah so you get what i mean right Okay, so they gain they all gain one energy per um per step, right? And if they gain okay. Do, 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 do. So this is like the structure we're gonna be working with. Okay, uh Let's call this MK map. MK map. Okay. Um, so we have these. Uh, the energy level of each octopus increases by one. Then any octopus with an energy level greater than nine flashes. Okay. So the energy level here. Uh, so all the the eights become nines um so let's see we don't actually have to think about that so it's just like at the start all of them are increased by one okay so let's write the step function so step takes in a map of int set int comma int and it uh, uh, it returns how many flashes there were 
and the next state of the map. Okay, so step MP equals. A, okay, so first of all, we're going to say uh, where level 8, uh, E level 8 equals uh, MP. So what do you say? Uh, case MP bang uh, map dot lookup 8. No, we're gonna look up, gonna look up nine, okay? Of just uh, so if there is any set with nine in them, uh, just uh, why? So just uh, two flash because it's greater than nine, right? So we increase all of them by one. Um, let's see. Let's let's have another one here. That's called tiny x. Okay, this is tiny e x. Uh, let's close day ten. Okay, tiny x. Um, and then uh, let's run this one on a tiny x. So we have the ones and we have the nines. Okay. Okay, so now we we write a recursive. Okay, um, so case two flash. Okay, so now we write a flash. Uh, this is gonna be like some uh, the the set of the ones we want to flash. Um, yeah, okay. We keep it as a set. So flash um, set dot empty. Uh, and then we get the, the kind of the current map where flash. Uh, no, this one is going to be actually uh... So let's look it up. Okay, let's see uh, where I flash equals map MP map dot bang um, eight uh, the nines okay and then we say flash and then we say um so this one is going to be case this one of if there are, are any just s we're going to have an s else we're going to have um we have a, a set dot empty Okay, so the first argument for flash is going to be I flash. Um, okay, so where? Okay, flash flashed. You see what I'm going here. Okay, so. So we're going to kind of find the fix point for the flash set. Okay, let's see. And we have to count how many times each member is in the set. Ooh, let's see.
Okay, so for the initial flash, it's it's just the nines. Okay, then we do so the the ones that are gonna be concatted. Um, uh, can I? Yeah. Okay. Let's say. Uh, where, and flash is gonna be a concat map a naze on a set dot from list flashed set dot to list flash so set dot to list flash okay now uh, so this one flash is going to set everything to okay Okay, so we have the the n flashed. Okay, so let's have this also the current MP. So cur MP. So we have the uh, n flash. Um we get all the neighbors and we get so we remove the ones that are so concat map set dot all oh, right no but we cannot we can't because uh, it matters like if you see two if you see one flash right you know so this one sees Yeah, okay, so, wow, let me see. Uh, Alright, so this one. These all, yeah, okay, let's see. Mm Let's do a uh, group dollar sort of the concat map. And then we add uh, this to the import and we add this to the import. So the new flash is, okay, so this is how many times you flash this round. Oh no, what is going on here? Oh my god, my editor just completely... Oh my god. Let me close it and open it again. Don't save. My undo buffer screwed up. Okay. Um, group, comma, sort. Hey, Jonathan. Yeah, there's a lot of catch up to do. Group dollar sort. Okay, so these are the new flashes. And then we do the classic uh, nums equals. Uh, oh my god. Map. Uh, so we take the. Uh, L. X. Uh, to x comma x comma length of l. Oh, this is supposed to be at of m flash. So then we have the like the number of times each one got hit by a flash. Okay, uh, this round. Um, this 
then now Yeah, but you see, this is a lot of uh, so it's a big mess, right? Okay, so now we know how the number of times each one got hit by a flash. Okay, um, right, but we we do concat map nays, and uh, we we're actually going to filter set dot mem uh, not set set dot member mem per not flip Okay, it's okay. We can actually, yeah, no, let's, let's filter not set dot flip set not set dot member flip set dot member. And uh, this should be flashed. Because we, we don't, we don't want to count them again if we've seen them before, right? So these are going to be the new ones uh, that we haven't seen flash before. Okay. Uh, okay, so these are the ones, yeah, currently flashing that we haven't seen flash before. Uh, uh, yeah. Because it's gonna be yeah, so so we don't count the so we get the neighbors, and then we filter out those that have already flashed, and we don't care about those. So then we group and then we sort, and then we get how many times a new one is hit by a flash. Okay, and so that's gonna gonna be this one. Okay. Um, So let's let's seven let's set this to um let's actually have this flashed and it's gonna be set dot empty and this is gonna be curve flash. So we're gonna concat map curve flash. Okay, so we get the ones that are currently flashing and then we flash and we remove the ones that are, we've already seen flashed. And we get how many times each one is hit by a flash. Okay, um, in the curve flash. Um, okay, now we want to... Now we need to update all of the indices. Damn. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this is actually the the right way to do it. Hmm. So we have the the list of the ones. And how many times they get hit by a flash. So how do we know if they will flash this time? Uh, so n curve flash. We're going to map that over the, the numbers. Um, Maybe we shouldn't, maybe we shouldn't flip this uh, here. Okay. Oof. Okay. Um, 
So the new ones that are flashing equals, okay, so we take, let's just take in, um, uh, do we have the, the nums? And then we have the filter. And we take the nums and then we say uh, that we have the C and we have the number of times. Okay. And now we can look up in the cur MP. Cur MP. Look up. Um, uh, so they all got one more. So N9 minus N. Map. Uh, C set dot member uh, and daughter like this. And why don't you want this? Could match with oh, you okay? The type of cur MP here is a what's the type of flash? Okay, flash is a type set int comma int int to a set of int comma int to the kind of the MP, a, which is this. to um, I think like yeah so we we eventually end up with a we actually want to return uh, underscore let's just say underscore here we, we we just let's we we return this now what are you complaining about here couldn't match type uh, argument okay yeah 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 okay um So set member C, uh, we F map that over here, and now it's saying couldn't match. Um, can we do like this? Can we just like literally write like a pattern match here and just say, oh my God, just true. Where uh, is JT is just true equals true. Is JT otherwise false? Uh, is JT dollar? Okay, so now we have the The ones that crossed this one to flash. Okay, and we wrap this over nums. Um, and we say here, uh, set dot to list of map uh, first of this one why not why not um
set out from list, right? Okay, and uh, nice. Ooh, okay, so we have the new current flash. Uh, okay, we so we want to say here. Mm. So this is going to be uh, if. If uh, set dot null and curve flash. So if there's a no new flashers, then um, so let's we also have to define the n map. Then we're gonna return the set dot size of of a. Of a uh, flashed and the in map otherwise else we continue the loop else a um, so the we have the end curve flash so it's gonna be a uh, flash a uh, set dot union and curve flash and we're gonna have the and curve flash and we are going to have the uh, end map okay Now we just need to compute the n map, um, right? And we have to add one to every one in the n map, actually. Uh, add one. Where? Okay. Uh, add one. There's a map int set int comma int map int set int comma int add one i think it's like map monotonic keys or something like that uh map keys map keys monotonic yes uh, add one equals uh, mp add one equals map map dot map keys monotonic plus one why what is your issue here oh my god either oh yeah okay so okay so we add the one at the end because we always consider them as like as like a either currently flashing or not Let's see. In map is going to be um. So now we need to kind of reverse them, right? Uh, map to list. Okay, we do map dot to list of a cur MP. Okay. Uh, in map. Uh, and map. Map and okay. Uh, set int comma int. So we take the map to list of n map. Uh, 
where cm equals and this one defined just so we can see the type of cm this is a list of int set of ints okay and we do map a a map a set dot to list over it and then it should be yeah a list of ints and then we kind of uh, we have to uh, expand it uh, uh, so we do a uh, map uh, v le goes to a uh, so this is going to go to um, zip and oh wait let me see so this one take a lip and we're going to go map a, a c and we're going to say a c comma v to the li like this And then this just becomes like a big map. And then this one big oh my god, two full sections. I don't I don't want that. That's too much. Okay, we can do it. Uh, just to make the blue go away. So this one becomes a uh, like this. Two full sections. Now CM is going to be a the a uh, Ooh. The change the bit, right? This is what we want, no? No. Um so the list here is a list of A's. Okay, what are we gonna what are we doing now? Let's see. So what cm is now is a list of ints okay so we want to map okay and we take the v and the list right and we do something to that right so what's the underscore here um so this list is going to be P and this V is going to be, oh, okay, map V, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, V comma Le, that's how it's going to be, that was the issue, so this one is not V, it's V comma Le, and now it's a list of list of ints, okay, and then we do concat map, and now it's a list of Int, int, comma, int. Okay, now we have these nums. Okay, so we say a, a num map equals map dot from list nums. Okay, now uh, for each cm in this one, we're going to go... Uh, up D C M, up D. Okay, so this is gonna be a, a co co coord and a value. Okay, and we are gonna say a case a C map a num map of just n is gonna be c comma n otherwise it's just c comma v okay now this has to be v plus n okay so we uh, we do we have the update function okay so we map up d over cm right um no wait oh yeah then we flip this all around num map c okay so we map update okay and now we need to kind of undo the things 
but we know how to do that because we have the this one, right? Um, okay, I'm actually going to just flip them here, right? So now this is a list of int comma ints. Okay, and then we do sort by a compare on first a group by compare on first and then we do our we do uh, we make this one a, a function and what what do we what can't we uh, group by Oh yeah, okay, this is going to be equal on first. And then we apply our binom function. Map dot from list dollar map binom. Um oh, so that's wrong. Oh yeah, okay, because I already flipped it in the binoms function. So now it becomes an int set of ints, exactly. <laughs> Easy. Uh, Views, concat, map, map. Yeah, okay, so we can actually take this function here, and we can say dot here, and then we can say period here, and then we can say concat map. Now, how do we, how do we fuse it? How do you want us to fuse this? Oh no, this is too much, right? Um, can we just do update for after this? No, we want the concatenation first, exactly. I'm not gonna fuse this, I don't care. I do not care, okay. So, does this one work? <laughs> Type checks, right? One from list four, from list four. Oh, it changed the type. Oh no. Um. Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's not changing the type. It's uh, saying that a. Uh, ah, uh, yo. Something wrong. Okay, so we have the 15s and the... Right. Okay, and we want them to set it to a zero, the flashing ones. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to take a two-minute break. I'll be right back.
Okay, not quite two minutes, sorry. Okay. So, I mean, at first, uh, at least we can see that, um, first we can see that, uh, uh, so all of the, so it's, it's losing the length somewhere, right? Um, Let's see, where is this end flash? Uh, let's do... Let's trace it. Thanks for the sub, Simi. Nice to get... I think I got uh, 200 followers now. Or oh, sub even. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. Or maybe it was a... I don't... I don't... What happened? Let me check the... A follower, yeah. Now I have 200 followers. That's not bad. Okay. Uh, so, zero, 00 got hit once in the first one. Which makes sense. Okay, so I think that our nums function is working. The Or the, the N flash, right? So, we're seeing that this one got hit once. This one got hit... Uh, twice. No, sorry. This one got hit once. This one got hit twice. So that's not bad. Do, 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 do. Okay, and zero dot comma three. This one got hit twice. So zero comma two should have been hit three times. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so the end flash works. Uh, no, let's show, see what the num says. Trace show ID. Okay, we, we reload, we run it again. Zero got zero, zero got hit once. Zero point comma one got hit twice. Zero comma two got hit three times. Zero comma three got hit two times. Zero comma four got hit one times. And then okay. Yeah, so the, the nums are correctly counted. Okay, so uh Let's see. So the ones that are the new curve flash. That's kind of the one that that's a bit wonky. Uh, how about we just update the? How do how we, how about we just update the map, uh, and then we kind of figure out the and then we yeah let's just let's do that I think. This one is too crazy I think. Okay, I have the nums. Okay, and um, okay, let's let's actually check this one out. Um, okay, so we have the let's how 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 does an end map look? Trace show ID. Reload. So two, so four comma four, so three comma four, three comma three, uh, nine, eleven, thirteen, one. Yeah, okay. So there's something happening in the uh, in this one, I, I think. So it's like it's dropping things somewhere. Okay, so let's uh, take a look. So we have the num map. Okay, and the end map. 
is going to be, yeah, we have the map of it. Okay. And map is equal to, so we have the update. The update function is correct, right? Um, let's, uh, let's have a look at this one. Let's have a look at it before we do the update. Trace show ID. Right, okay. Um, dollar trace show uh, trace. E. Okay, just to see which one it is. Okay, from this A, okay. Um, so zero, zero, one, zero, comma, one, one, zero, comma, two. Okay, so. Yes. I think this one is the correct. And then we look up the, uh, look up C, comma, V in the num map. Let's see. Okay, so what are the, what is the so I think only this one should be in n curve flash. Let's uh, let's just assume this one is correct. So I'm like, trace show ID. Yeah. So exactly. So two two is the one in n curve flash. Um, and then there's uh, none of them in Encore Flash. Okay, we, uh, yeah, so it's a one over nine is in Encore Flash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so sort by group by, um, let's see. Uh, where are we, where are we losing them? So this is saying zero, zero is two, and then three, and then four, and then three, two, and then three, and then four, two, and then three, and then four, and then three, and then four. Oh, yeah, this is, and this is before we add one. So that's, I think this one is correct. So I think it's a binum function that's uh, doing something wrong. So let's uh, let's just use that just here. And then uh, let's see. What was the type at this point? So these are the ones with two and the three and then uh oh right. Okay, because we want to compare on second. That was the problem.
So we get three and then four and then five. Three and then four and then five. And then of course we get the so add one and then clear flashed flashed um and where so clear flashed okay and so then we just uh, oh, clear flashed flash okay that that doesn't really matter we just have to take out the keys that are larger than nine Uh, clear flashed. Uh, let's see. But that it doesn't really make sense. So there, there are one that has ten, and then there is a thirteen, and then fifteen. So there, so there should be so there should be like nine that flashed, right? I think it's like the. Ooh, let me see. Okay, wait. So we start. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, we're also not doing, yeah, we're doing something incorrect. Uh, so we add one to nmap. Let's see. Okay, um, so set size flash. So, so it's, it starts with empty. And then we add the curve flash. But, um, we never added the first curve flash to it, right? Do ding 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 ding. Oh no, this should not be end curve flash. This should be curve flash. Ooh. I think maybe like this. Yes. So now we get nine and three and four and five. And now we just have to clear the ones that are have been that are larger. Um so update. So case now map in C of okay. Um and now Clear flashed. Okay, so uh, clear flashed of MP is equal to. So we get the keys of the map. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's all the way here. Data map strict. So we get the keys of the map uh, where MK equals map dot keys MP. Okay, um, so concat map, uh, map, mp, map, uh, and then we do dollar a uh, map dot keys mp. Yeah, uh, concat map, map, a uh, Okay, and then we do filter a uh, larger equal to larger than nine of the a uh, map dot of map dot keys of MP. And then this one is uh, is this wrong? Oh yeah, okay. It's just bang. Okay, and we this was gonna be a concat map, so clear flash returns a list. Uh, and we do set dot unions. Uh, 
where nc's equals this, and we say m mp map dot insert uh okay i'll just map dot insert to work again map dot insert and the type is a yeah okay so it's going to be zero and set as a mp oh and now it does not happy because Uh, why is it not happy here? Couldn't match type. Um, Okay, now let's see it again. Okay, then we have all the new zeros. Um, and then we have the threes and the fours. Okay, let's write a, a printer. Right. Um, ding, ding, ding. Dealing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna call this. Uh, I think this is flip map, right? In our case, uh, let's see. I think so, yeah. Um, so we say uh, flip, flip map cur MP. Okay, and uh, This is even further out. Uh, let's see. Yes. So flip map. Um, Let's see. And uh, we know that it's not going to be in the multiple. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So let's see. Uh, print st is going to be a map int set int comma int to io. Print SD. All right. Thanks for the follow. TGRF equals a. Uh, so where a. Uh, so FP equals a uh, map dot from list dollar flip map MP. A uh, flipped. Um, so a. Uh, so we do a map M um, and then we're going to say a X from a zero zero to nine comma Y from zero to let me just see what this is. Yeah, X comma Y. Uh, X. 
Nine, eight, y, zero, two, nine. Okay, we gotta flip it around. So we do x comma y. And then we flip them around like this. Okay, so this is gonna be the keys in order equals map m keys a print key keys in order print key equals a case map dot uh, so flipped map a flipped uh, key key equals a of just v is going to be a put stir v oh no i don't i know i don't i won't have the lines right okay a let's do it differently This is not going to be an IO. This is just going to be a string. Okay. A map a print lines 0 to 9. Map a to line. And then a to, to line equals L equals a map. A... Uh, map and then this is going to be flipped and map dot bang over a x comma l where x comes from 0 to 9 to do to do to do and this is a two line now oh, this is going to be a list of ints Int com uh, a list a list of ints right, uh, but not happy with that. Wow, well, yeah, okay, okay. Let's uh, so this is like this now. Uh, where are we getting this from? Okay, let's actually say here do uh, in read input. Okay, then we say, um, <coughs> we can take this make map as well. Um, now, okay, let's, let's just uh, do it a bit differently. So we just do task one, um, but we are going to say, Very show um, print st dollar mk map y indexed um, and so what we also need here is we say ah uh, yeah okay. Because we kind of want the, the ones and zeros, right? So let's just have this to be string. So we say map to line, uh, map flipped, uh, dig it, int to dig it. And this is what, this is not in there. What are you complaining about? Uh, to dig equal uh, I equals 
to dig something I to dig into char to dig to dig uh, unlines then I don't need this actually and I don't need the around here either and what is it complaining about now why not oh, okay uh, yeah okay I don't like that actually so I'm not gonna do it now is there a function here uh, yo. I'm just gonna go ahead and import data.jar now let's see what the typed holes have for us today found uh, into char into two digit that is a valid hole fit nice int two digit Uh, the map, the given key, is not an element in the map. Hmm. What is going on there? Do 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 ding ding. Okay, let's see. Trace show ID. What's going on here? Zero 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 one zero two zero three zero four zero five. Uh, ooh, okay, right. Because it's not a. Uh, X R Y R. So it's gonna be up to Y R, and it's gonna be up to X R. Uh, because we 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 don't so we have a different range for the like the example one, right? That's fine. Okay, so this is gonna be a make map indexed. A, this is gonna be print st five five. What? Oh no, four comma four. Trace. Oh, okay. So one one nine nine nine. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, it's just showing it directly, right? Okay, so this is the after one, after the first one, okay? Then we want to do the step. Where okay, so, so R is equal to so trace print st four point four of R R and this one is why is it not happy here? Uh, uh, S and D F. Okay, let's run this. Why is it saying C E A C? Oh yeah, because um No, why is it saying that? Is it say, is it because it's not clearing? Probably, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, this is gonna be uh, 
okay, but we're at least we're getting those correct, right? But we the clear flashed here is apparently not working. So let's see. All right, because uh, I, I I insert them into zero, but I don't actually cancel them out. Uh, so we say here map dot delete. Delete. So we say, uh, okay, I'm gonna just gonna say, uh, fold r map dot delete. Uh, uh, MKS equals MKS. MKS. All right. So we did we did the first step. Uh, we're still on part one. I really hope that whatever we end up with, it will help us part two. Okay, so this was after step one. Um, so let's just say here, there's gonna be a int comma int, and we say c comma mp, and we say uh, um uh, so this is like flash this round in uh, nmp uh, or mp prime is equal to this one and we return ftr plus c comma mp prime ding 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 ding, ding. Ooh, and then this one has to be a zero comma like this. Yeah. Okay, and then we can just apply, see if we say step, step. And we get the four, five, six, five, four. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so how do we apply n steps? Uh, we'll go, let's say, uh, a to a to int to a to a. A. Okay, let's just define it. Apple n uh, zero f equals uh, a equals a. Apple N A N F A equals A Apple N I think this function must exist somewhere, but whatever. N minus one F F A So let's apply our function a, the result, let's say it's apple a hundred a step. And then let's say this is, a, we're gonna go to nine and we're gonna run it on the example. Okay, so five two 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 nine nine two two three five. So how does it say? So 
So we get to step. Oh no. We're not getting it right. Okay, so before in step 5, 4, 8, 3, 2, 1. Okay, uh, then, okay, let's just, um, we got this. Let's apply it zero times. What do we get then? Zero. And we get the 5, 4, 8, 3, 1, 4, 2, 2, 2, 3. Hey, thanks for the follow, Omaro. Okay, now we apply it once. And we get six five nine four two three three four three eight five nine blah blah blah. Okay, uh, after step, let's okay. So let's apply it three times. Okay, so then these this one this here is like eight, but it should be doing but we're saying nine nine. Tink tink do 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 Okay, uh let's call this to one not Apple, just sim. And then we just say here a so sim zero a is gonna be a x comma a is equal to a trace. What did we have before? Print st. Print st a a sim and a. Uh, x comma a is a c at so this is gonna be sim this is gonna be step oh this is gonna be a step c what is wrong with this one could match type expected type uh, um, hum, 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 hum. All right, it's because I should return x comma a here now. Sim takes an int and a, a oh, int comma map int set. In comma int and returns an int subprint. Okay. Now um, print sta. Yeah. Okay. I forgot to do the nine comma nine comma nine here. Actually. Okay. Um. And that's what we want to do here as well. We want to trace. Um, okay, I think we have to do it like this. I think we have to do it like a trace, a print as the nine comma nine comma nine. Um, see, a, a. okay, and then this one becomes sim. A. Let's sim it two times. A. Zero comma make map y indexed. Okay, so we have we start with the uh, this one five four eight two two three one, then we get uh, next one, and then eight eight zero seven four seven six five five five. Yes. 
so it's eight five eight 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 six six eight five eight 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 six six zero nine eight maybe maybe it's because i should say so this is okay so maybe a sim 199 so let's see so sim 2 the final value was a the same as saying after step 2 right so after step 3 Uh, okay, right. So something seems to go wrong there after step two. Right, because we never get this... We say, or we, we're not on the, we don't have the right number of flashes, right? Ding, 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 ding. No, I don't think so. Something goes wrong at some point. That's not good. Oof. Uh, yeah, okay. We might have to think this whole thing. I mean, so it's a bit weird, right? Because it is a... Because it is... So dim is equal to... Um, X is equal to length, head, int, comma, uh, length, input. And then this should be dim, and uh, this should be dim. Let's say here, um, tiny ex. Why? Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's minus one. It should work, right? These are the dimensions we want to print. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we get a one on right. And then we get the three, four, five, four, three. Three, four, five, four, three. Okay, and then after step two, we get the four, five, six, five, four, five, one, 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 and five, six, one, 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 six, five, one, 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 five, four, five, six, five, four. Okay, so this one, this one works. Uh, but it's something with the example that doesn't work. Okay, so let's see. We should have in step three. So we have a zero here and zero here. Two zeros, three zeros. Yeah, and then we have have four zeros here and four, five, six. And then five, nine, four, three. Seven, four, five, six. Uh, nine and then three seven eight seven six eight seven 
406848. Oh, the last line seems to be going wrong. Okay. It was it wrong before though? So when does it become wrong? So it's correct in the beginning, five two six, and then we get six three seven, six three nine four eight six, two six three seven. Yeah, six three nine four eight six two six three seven. But then here, it 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 drops out of sync. So 848, and there's like a 9 here, which is as if it wasn't counted. Now, why does that happen? What if I remove this one? Eight seven. That's annoying. There's like only the one line that goes wrong. And even if I change it so that it what if I do less than equal to nine? What is up with that one? Let's see. Does it also happen for our tiny x? Four, five, six, five, four. No, it does not happen there. What is going on though? Let's see, it's, um, it's 639-486-2637, yes, 595-795-9665, yes, 799-399-2245, yes, 328-795-2832. Yes, five two seven eight six three five seven five six. Five two seven eight six three five seven five six. Seven four six eight four nine six five eight nine. Yes, seven two five two seven two five two four four seven two five seven. Yes. Six three seven five six six seven two eight four. Yes. So what happens here? Like, what is the difference here? What is going on? What if I don't remove their cells? No, it doesn't work like that. Okay. This is very annoying, right? Whereas like, why, why is that one thing, one guy off? <laughs> okay. Um, let's ignore this curve flash. Uh, Oh, 
let's write a new definition of anchor flash where anchor flash is equal to we get the keys uh, So we get the keys in the in map that are larger than nine. Um, and um, we take the union of all the ones that are flashing. Okay, so this is our the new flashing, and then we do a uh, nfls set dot. We remove the ones we've already seen uh, flashed. Oh, now it doesn't even work. You know, my, there's something else that's wrong as well. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Okay, so we remove, so these are the uh, NFLs. Oh, this should be in the end map, right? Sorry about that. Okay, it seems correct, except for it's like doing two steps at once. Okay, well, well, but we do like, um, <laughs> okay, let's just do it like. Cr completely uh, map based okay uh, set out empty empty and then uh, add one to the map flash okay and then uh, we remove the curve flash Okay, um, now this whole thing changes. So, um, let's just remove this whole thing for a while. Oh no. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, then we got another case of the editor freaking out okay uh, so so we added one to the map okay then we um then we do like this um So this is n flash. A um, 
Now, uh, we find the new keys, we tweak the unions of the sets. Yeah. It be larger than or equal to 9. We take the units of the sets. Okay. And these are the new flashing ones. Okay, then we take the end flash. And then we update the numbers. Um, okay, and so, and then we just count the, we do, um, and how do we check it? Uh, so we say case and set dot null and flash. Equals uh, set dot size flashed, uh, and we just return the cur the uh, cur mp right. So this is this is going to be let's just call this uh, mp. This is going to be the mp, and this is just mp, and this is just uh, mp. Okay, uh, so we take the loop ones and the. If there are no new flashers, then we do. Okay, so otherwise. Otherwise. It's equal to flash set. A flashed, flashed, set, set dot union, and and flash, and map, and it doesn't like end flash because, uh, end flash is a set. Okay, and. Uh, So we filter and we take the unions and um right. But this is like a set union, so we're not actually counting the um Okay. Now we're back to kind of where we were, but that's okay. Um So we get the NFLs and define. And my editor is like starting to crap out of me again. Okay, we get all the keys and then we. Um, Okay. We can't get map this. No. It's always telling me to fuse the concat map, but then whenever I try to do that, it doesn't actually. I, I'm doing something wrong there. Uh, okay, so we, these are the new flashers. Um, then we uh, group. Uh, sort, um, and we uh, filter set dot member flashed not NFLS. Mm. And now I can't figure it out because it's.
So this NFLS should be um, NFLS. Right, okay, I think it's, I have to say flip here. And then just let's just check if that flash is empty. Um, otherwise, uh, union. So I take one from each and then, yeah, okay. And then 55. Oh my God. Ugh. Now we're just, we're just stuck in some mess. Just absolutely stuck. And we've been here for an hour, two hours. Let me check what's going on. Um, I am actually just gonna check when Domino's closes, because uh, Domino's. Do, 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 do. Okay, closes at 11, so I'm, I'm going to do 45 minutes more. Then, uh, then we're, then we're going to give up. Ah, okay, um, but we started out good, right? We, we almost got there, and then we had less like a one error somewhere. And it didn't update the example, and now it's all, it's all rubbish. Let's just undo all of this work. Oh my god, am I seeing, am I, my, my undo buffer is wrong. Oh my god, then... So I can't even know if this is correct or not. Uh, set dot size flashed. Um, I think it was like this. Oh my god. Alright, this was before I fixed it. So this one works for at least this one, okay? So I'm just going to run on the input and I'm just going to see if it's a... Uh, you know, maybe this this is an, an error in the example, right? So you simulated for 101 steps. We get 1400. I'm just going to see if that works. No. Oh, 
Okay, so it's not it's not in the example. Okay. A uh, wait. Oh my god. Now this uh, stream is going to get DMCA'd because it uh, Spotify started playing some radio stuff. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll actually check. Stream DMCA. This is the Vermilo keyboard. Uh, it's nice. Pretty nice. Let me see. Sorry, now I'm thinking of it now. Uh, what to do? Wow, this is annoying. Dun, 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 dun. No, I might have to like. No, I have to edit the video, right? I have to like change it and cut it and all. Ugh. Oh my god. What is going on with this line here? Uh, it's just weird, right? It works for the tiny example. Okay. And it works for the whole example, except for this one line here. And it's just... It's just bizarre. I think it's crazy bizarre. Usually errors are like either it not nothing works or it kind of all works. Maybe maybe I don't know. <laughs> now we have to stare. Stare at the code. Is it like a is it is it an off by one error? Somehow. Is it an off by one error for one of them? Right? It's like, what the... What the fuck? Okay, so we look at the ones that are nine. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna rewrite the whole thing. We have to do it. Sorry, we have to do it. Okay, uh, we're just gonna do uh, do it the super crazy, boring way. Okay, so we have a, a list of list of ints. Okay, let's just copy paste this. All. We're just gonna do it like the, the the slow way, but where there's no chance for anything to go wrong. Okay. Uh, now this is just gonna be y indexed task one prime. Now uh, we're gonna say task one. Prime. 
Okay, let's see. And we get the list. Okay, um... And, uh, uh, add one is going to be uh, a map of int, map of these int, comma, int, comma, int. Okay, now let's actually, so we have it, and then we do uh, the, let's, we still, we can still make it into a map, map, from list. Um, but now it's uh, y indexed, yeah, so we do a map from list, y indexed. Um... Okay, and then, uh, um, so step is going to be, I think we can do like map LMs, map LM, map keys, keys, map LM, map keys, why can't we map the elements? We can do map, okay, we, we can just do map. Step, okay, so we first we do a uh, um, add one is equal to map plus one. So we do add one. And this is going to be map dot map. Okay, um, so a step is going to be uh, where ink1 is equal to map, map dot map plus one, so cur mp, a uh, cur mp, and then we say this is going to be ink1, and let's say this is step. Okay, so first we increase it by one. Okay, and then we're gonna say a uh, we're gonna filter. Uh, so it's gonna be a to bool. So it's filter. Um, okay, a uh, new. Flash flashing is equal to map dot filter larger than nine ink one flashing Okay yeah that no 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 none of them flash so let's do it for the tiny X Tiny X. Okay, so these are the ones that are flashing in the first one. So let's let's just say this is going to be e so map file filter equal to 10. Okay, this is equal to 10. Um, so we're going to say flash um, so we're going to send the, it's, the in, initial one is going to be a flashing ink one so, okay let's just say flash okay so flash flashing this is just a list uh, mp is equal to 
So if there's none of them are now flashing. Uh, so flashing. So have flashed and flashing. So have flashed. No, let's just say flashed. Okay. Uh, so we have flashing MP. Okay. So then we go. Um, okay. It's going to be flashed. Oh, God. Flashed ink one. Okay. It's going to be flashed. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So here I'm going to say, um, so I'm going to take a list of, um, okay, this is going to be flashing, flashed and flashing. Okay. Flash, flashed, flashing MP is equal to, okay. Uh, where NMP is equal to map. Um, so I'm going to say, take the coordinate, the coordinate. And uh, we're going to find the, okay. So where N flash is equal to concat map nays flashing. Okay. Then we have all the, all the new ones that are flashing and then we're going to say um, oh right so this is this is going to be a map okay so this is going to be a map dot keys flashing and defined okay and flashed is going to be this is going to start off as a empty set. Okay, what? Well, let's close this. All right. Thanks for the follow, Sanctus. I hope this this one ends soon. Actually, so and the new flashing uh, n n n map um, is going to be a. Uh, we have the flashing, so we can say map. Uh, no, we're gonna fold R uh, C. And we're gonna say a uh, map. Okay, actually, so n flash. So let's say uh, no. We need the we need the uh, yeah. Okay, so we have the n flash. So those are the neighbors. We're going to do group. We're going to do sort. And we're going to do the length thing. Map L at X, whatever, uh, X comma length of L. So these are the new, the new flashing with their lengths. So, and flashed. Um, map FST and flash. Okay, and then, uh, so those are the, the new flashed. Except, uh, yeah, okay, this is the new flash. Oh my god, these are the names are getting very, they're not not going well. Okay, so n map is equal to, uh, we're just gonna go over the ones in new flashed, no, n, n flash. Uh, we're gonna say fold r, uh, and we're gonna say c, comma v, c, comma n. Um, update. There's something called update. Update. Okay, adjust. Adjust with key. No, update. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, okay, update. So, 
So we're going to say folder. We're going to say update. Um, and we need the function. So we're going to say yes dot plus n. And we're going to give it the key C. And we're updating OMP, right? Like this. MP. And let's just say M map dot update M. And then we say MP and we say N flash. This is a new map. Okay. Uh, now flashing is equal to the same thing. and uh, map okay um <laughs> so okay the flash flashed flashing so if, if it's if it's empty mp then we return set dot size flashed comma uh, we just return yeah set dot size flashed and the mp okay and this is going to be set dot empty and this is going to be set dot from list So the new flashed, um, yeah, because so because they're not going to be equal to ten more often, right? Uh, so the, if it's otherwise, we say flash, uh, uh, flashed set dot union and flashed, and the new flashing is flashing, and this is in map. Okay, um, now let's see what it says. Oh, now it's a loop. Um, why is it a loop? Oh my god. We did something wrong here. Okay, we we don't actually need this flashed flashing blah blah. That uh, that we don't need. Um, we just need to say um, map dot size uh, map dot filter larger than nine mp so those are the ones that it uh, flashed let's see this is also a loop So we don't need this uh, and flashed. Oh, right. So, um, oh, now I might be like flashing them twice. If they didn't get flashed again. Unless I remove from the neighbors the... Uh, this one. Because then we always add to them. No, okay.
So flash is gonna be this. Uh, now, and the end flashed are the ones which are here. Um, but a uh, No, actually, we have to do it like this. We unmap. We update with say just plus n mp and flash. And then flashing is like this. Okay, so we add one and then we have exactly those that are flashing. And I think the map size and all are okay. I probably need the flashing actually. Oof. Let's just remove this. Step one is equal to uh, flashing. Right, okay, I think that's where the loop was happening. This this is should be um this is flashing prime. This should be flashing prime. And then if I remove not increasing yourself And then this is a uh, flash flashing ink one. Filter C not equal to dollar. Um, let's just call this area. And then we call this one area. So it's like not, uh, it's not actually like the same yet. Okay, now. Um, let's print the trace st r s so sim n a so sim zero a x comma a is equal to trace. Um, we had the dim somewhere here. We just do it again. Dim trace print st dim a a dollar and then we return 
return x sim a n c at x comma a um this is gonna be a case a uh, we're gonna say uh n f comma a prime step of uh, a equal to um um n f plus x uh, oh oh my god okay so we so the new flash is uh so okay the result of ah uh, we had this better before right yeah okay let's just change the signature of step again a c cmp um uh, an f comma mp and mp is equal to flash flashing ink one and then this is equal to c plus an f comma an mp So, uh, simming C at A is equal to trace print ST dim A uh, sim N minus one C. And then we just do zero, zero comma. And it still should say nine and this thing. And then we say a sim zero. Sim zero. What does that say? Hmm, print SD, all right. Print SD is the old one. Okay, we don't care. Uh, let's not just, let's just not print it. We don't care. We're just going to see what it returns. What does it return for the input? No, for the example day 11. It returns zero. Um, All oh, right, because it doesn't actually step. Nine seven nine one. Let's see here. After a hundred steps, there have been total of six hundred fifty six flashes. After step ten, a total of okay. Let's see. Okay, that one is also wrong. Amazing. Okay, let's just uh, write a new uh, print st that kind of does the same thing here. Print st prime. Uh, 
takes in the dim, takes in the map int comma int int to string. Now we don't flip it. We just say we just say uh, mp. Okay, and then we do trace uh, print st prime uh, dim. We steal the dim again. Print st prime dim a uh, x. Otherwise, um, trace print st prime dim a. Yeah. Oh, I think it's because we don't clear it. I, we forgot to clear it. I think that's the thing. Uh, not a digit 16. Yeah, I think that's the problem. So we we get the new map and then we do MP and then flash of the last one is this one. And then we say, uh, we're going to say Um, we just say here, a uh, clear flashed MP, uh, so clear flashed MP is going to be, uh, equal to where MKS equals to, um, map dot filter larger than nine mp uh, map dot keys um, map dot and then we do map with key oh no i think we can actually just do a uh, map map dot map uh, uh, x, if x larger than 9, then 0, else x of mp. So one nine and then three five and then oh and then it just turns into something like that. Okay, let's see now if we do it on the example. We still get the nine here. <laughs> oh my god. I don't I don't get the nine. Like now we've done it two ways and we get got get the exact same nine there for some reason. And like it's correct otherwise. Uh, let's see. So after 11, we get 204. What do we get of 101? Seventeen twenty. Yeah, we're supposed to get uh, 1656 after... Okay. Maybe there's something in the description that we're missing. Then any octopus with an angel greater than nine flashes. This increases the angel level of all regions adjacent to octopuses by 
one, including octopus that are okay. So I think maybe it's because so here I take the ones that are exactly eleven, but they may might have been they might have received uh before yeah. So let's say um Okay, that's a good point. Okay, let's see. Um flashed uh before is map dot keys um a map dot filter larger than nine MP. Okay, now a uh, flashing prime is uh, going to be larger than nine. Um, filter set dot not set dot member uh, a flip okay let's see if this one works okay yay so what I is missing in this one at least was that uh, that they were getting like they got uh, if you got two I think like if you if you like fl got so many that it flashed twice or something okay but now if we run it for a hundred we get a 1656 okay now let's run it for the input okay I think we might this is task one, right? What are we going to be doing for task two? Okay, 1620. Let's go with it. Perseverance. Finally gotten wonder. Okay, let's uh, see part two. But, uh, okay. It seems like into the fast list is bright enough to navigate to hybrid and better options. The fast seems to be synchronizing. Uh, in the example above, the first time all octopus flash simultaneously is step 195. After step one, so if you can calculate the exact moments when the octopus will all flash simultaneously, you'll be able to go through the cavern. What is the first step during which all octopuses flash? Okay. Um, so when do they all flash? Task two. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, C, C, current P. Okay, so. Uh, uh, sim until flash. So sim until flash of uh, n uh, mp is equal to uh, where so we have the step uh, so here we don't need the we're not gonna count them actually we just do the current mp uh, but we do want the uh, so the step uh, we go we do mp prime comma uh, fts 
slashed this step equals a step of MP. So, case a flashed this step equals a, a nine times nine. Oh, ten times ten times ten equals n otherwise a sim until equals sim until flash mp prime what is wrong with this one sim until flash um All right. All right. This is actually uh, flipped. MP prime. Now, flash this step. Oh my God! What is going on? Okay, so sim until flash. N A MP equals A. where? Okay, so this one is going to be uh, so the step we're going to say a uh, flashed and. Uh, mp equals step mp right mp prime and then we're gonna say if flash equals 100 then a uh, n else uh, sim until flash oh yeah i think i forgot to just do n plus one mp prime Ooh, do, 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 do. Uh, then n else a uh, let's do a uh, trace print sd prime mp nine comma nine. And this one won't work. Where does it? Okay. Now let's just do this. Okay, it's step three seventy. Let's check that. Oh no, I think it's like, maybe it's uh, step 371. Uh, then, um, trace, uh, print st prime 9 comma 9, 9, uh, oh, we didn't test it on the example either, right? MP prime uh, and then a uh, and yeah uh, okay I think it's uh, n plus one then so what does the what does it say for the example? A uh, after step 195, I think it should be, yeah, okay. And it's 371. <laughs> oh, it's finally over. Only three and a half hours. But we persevered. And what did we learn? Just rewrite. 
You know what I mean, yeah. And then like, so we were trying to do it in a hard way. Um, and it wasn't quite working out. And then there was like a one nine somewhere. <laughs> that screwed it all up. But, um, I, yeah, I, I, I'm not even sure what we were doing wrong in the first one. But then we just did it again. And I think we kept it simpler. I mean, because we were, I think we were like trying to optimize it too fast first. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for tuning in to this extremely long session. Uh, I'll have to edit the video because I think I was playing some copyrighted music there for a while. But uh, we're good now. And I'm going to try and get my pizza. All right. Thank you all for tuning in. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow at 7. Uh, and it's not going to be a double feature because we've caught up. All right. Thanks again for tuning in. And uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.